Ubuntu is a popular Linux distribution. It is mainly used in server and cloud computing. If you want to install MySQL server on a computer running Ubuntu operating system, then this tutorial is for you. Hi, my name is Pradhyank Kurnikam. I am a freelance web developer and Udemy instructor. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to download and install MySQL database server on Ubuntu desktop computer. In my case, I am using Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. The LTS means long term support. You may be using a different version of Ubuntu. For example, Ubuntu Desktop 18.04 LTS or Ubuntu Server 20.04 LTS. The installation steps given in this video tutorial will work on from Ubuntu 18.04 LTS to Ubuntu 21.10 which is the latest version of Ubuntu operating system. As I'll be installing MySQL using APT package repository, the installation steps will be similar in Ubuntu desktop as well as Ubuntu server. Let's get started. Here I have logged in to my Linux Ubuntu 20.04 LTS operating system. Please note some Linux distributions come with pre-installed MySQL server. So before we start downloading and installing MySQL server, let's check if MySQL is already installed on our computer. I will open terminal window and type mysql press enter or type which mysql d press enter or type mysql dash dash version and press enter. If you see mysql version number then mysql is already installed on your computer and you don't need to install it again. But if you see command not found or other similar error messages, then your computer does not have pre-installed MySQL server. Follow the steps in this tutorial to install MySQL server on your Linux Ubuntu operating system. The first thing we will do is update the package index on our computer. Type sudo apt update press enter. Enter sudo user password. Once packages are updated, we are ready for MySQL installation. In order to install MySQL server, enter the command sudo apt install mysql dash server press enter. The installation will take 203 MB of disk space. Press Y to continue with MySQL download and installation. The installation time will vary depending upon your computer and internet speed. Once the installation is complete, you will get this normal terminal prompt. Please note the MySQL server installation is complete, but we didn't set root user password or any other configuration. That's what we are going to do in the next step. Before we do the MySQL configuration, we must have MySQL server in running state. We can check MySQL server status by using a command like sudo service MySQL status press enter and here you can see mysql server status as active and running enter colon and q to exit you can stop the mysql server using sudo service mysql stop press enter now check the MySQL server status again. Press up arrow key to show previously executed commands. Select the MySQL status command. Press enter. And this time you can see the status. Server shutdown complete. 
exit with colon q. Similarly, we can start the MySQL server using sudo service MySQL start press enter. Check the status again. And again, we can see the status as active and running. Exit with colon q. We can also restart MySQL server using sudo service mysql restart press enter and mysql server has been restarted we can check out the installed mysql server version using mysql dash dash version press enter and here in my case the current install version is MySQL 8.0.28. On Ubuntu operating system with MySQL 5.7 or more, we can directly log into MySQL root user account without password. There is auth underscore socket plugin which matches MySQL client username with the operating system username. And we need to run the command with sudo privilege to access MySQL root user account. Like sudo mysql press enter and we are logged in to mysql root user account type exit press enter to log out of root user account i will clear the screen as i told you earlier the mysql server installation is complete and in case of mysql by default it creates a username called root user the root user is an administrator and has all the privileges of mysql database but we didn't set root user password or any other configuration and for security reason it's good practice to set mysql root user password and do mysql configuration after installation so let's move to mysql configuration step now type sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation press enter in the first step of configuration it would ask if you want to set up validate password component. If we choose no, then we can add new user with less secure password. And if we set up this validate password component, then anytime we add a new MySQL user, that user's password must follow password policy we set in next step. I will select Y to set up the validate password component, press enter. Now we need to select the level of password validation policy. If we set a strong policy here, then new user's password must contain 8 characters, combination of capital and small letters, numbers and special characters. I will enter 1 to select a medium level password policy here, press enter. Now set the MySQL root user password here. Use a string containing capital and small letters, numbers and special characters. Most importantly, Note down this password somewhere. We will need this password to log in to our root user account. Please note when you enter your password, you will not see any character or asterisk symbol being printed on the screen. So make sure to enter your password carefully. I will set my password here. You can use your own password. Re enter the password to confirm. Once you confirm the password, you will see a password strain. In my case, it's 100. It means my password is very strong. Press Y to confirm and set your password. For testing purpose, MySQL creates anonymous users. You can log into these anonymous users account without password. So it's a good idea to remove the anonymous users. Enter Y to remove the anonymous users. Remote login means you can log into your MySQL root user account from the network. For security purpose, it's good practice to disallow root login remotely. Press Y to disable root login remotely. Just like anonymous users, MySQL creates a test database for testing purpose. We can remove this test database. Press Y to remove the test database. 
we just did mysql configuration and in order to configuration take effect immediately we must reload mysql privileges press y to reload the privilege table and that's it our mysql configuration was successful as i said earlier the root user has all privileges to mysql server so it's a good practice to create another user with limited or full privileges let's create a super user for our mysql database that will be used in database applications login again to your mysql root user account using sudo mysql the command to add a new mysql user is create user in single quotes pn tutorials you can use your own username at in another single quote localhost single quote complete identified by in single quotes the password of new user i will enter my password you can use your own password single quote complete semicolon to complete the statement press enter and if you see query okay message the new user has been created now let's give full privilege to newly created user enter grant all privileges on star dot star to in single quotes name of the user in my case it's pn tutorials single quote complete add symbol in another single quote localhost single quote complete with grant option semicolon to complete the statement we will learn more about creating users with full or limited privileges and explanation about each syntax in a separate tutorial for now just enter the command as it is just replace the username with your own username here press enter to run the command now enter flush privileges to set the changes and finally exit out of your root user account using exit command and now try to log in to newly created user account using the command mysql dash u the name of newly created user in my case it's pn tutorials you can use your username dash p press enter and enter password of your user and we are logged in to newly created user account now before we end this tutorial let me execute a couple of sql statements to confirm mysql database is working fine type show databases semicolon and press enter this sql statement will list all databases in your mysql database create a new database using sql statement create database name of the database here pn tutorials is the name of a database we are going to create you can create a database name of your choice press enter type show databases and enter to see our newly created database and sure enough our database was successfully created here we can confirm that our mysql database was installed successfully and working without any issue If you want to learn more SQL statements you can check out my this SQL course on Udemy I have provided the link in description I would like to congratulate you for completing this tutorial in this video tutorial we learned how to download and install MySQL database server on Ubuntu operating system I hope you understood the installation steps given in this video tutorial now try on your own and see if you are able to do the installation If you encounter errors while installation or didn't understand something feel free to ask me questions in the comments section of this video If you like this video 
hit the like button and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video